Chapter Five, The Underground Home. The underground home is a secret place. No one knows where it is. It is a happy, warm place. There is only one room with a big fireplace. Tinker Bell has her tiny room too. Wendy is a perfect mother. She cooks and sews for everyone. She also tells beautiful bedtime stories. The lost boys are happy because they finally have a mother. John and Michael are happy because there is a new adventure every day. Peter Pan is a perfect father. He brings home food and protects the family. Yay! Yay! Wendy and Peter play with the children and laugh with them. But one night something happens. Wendy tells the children this bedtime story. In the big city of London, there are two parents. They are very sad because they cannot find their three children. Every night they leave the nursery window open. They wait and wait for their children to return, but they don't return. Poor parents. They are very sad without their children. Oh, Wendy, this is a story of our parents," says John. "Yes, it is," says Michael. Peter listens and says, "Sometimes parents forget their children, and other children take their place." Wendy is very surprised. "Oh no!" she says. "Perhaps there are other children in our beds." John, Michael, we must go home. Do we, Do we really have to? Ask John and Michael. Yes, we've got to return home. The lost boys are sad and say, "Oh, oh Wendy, Wendy, please don't, don't leave us. us." Don't be sad. You can come and live with us in London," says Wendy. "Oh, how wonderful!" The lost boys say, "We can have a real family." They jump up and down with joy. They dance around the room, but Peter is not happy. He is very serious and says, "I'm not coming with you to London. I don't want to grow up. I want to be a boy forever." Everyone says goodbye to Peter. Bye bye. Outside, the pirates are waiting for them. The children come out of the underground home, and the pirates capture them. Then they take them to the Jolly Roger. They don't make any noise. Peter doesn't know where they are. He is sad without Wendy, John, Michael, and the lost boys. He sits, and thinks. Tap tap tap. There's someone at the door. Who is it? asks Peter. He can hear the sound of little bells, and opens the door. Tinker Bell flies in and says, "The pirates have got Wendy, John, Michael, and the lost boys. They are in danger. Let's help them." I must save them. Come, Tink. Let's go to the Jolly Roger. This time, I must attack Hook. Chapter Six, The Jolly Roger. There is a yellow moon in the night sky. The Jolly Roger is in the bay near Kids Creek. The children are on the pirate ship. They are prisoners of Captain Hook and his cruel pirates. Captain Hook looks at them and says. This time it's Peter Pan or me, you idiots! Peter Pan can't save you now. <laughs> Hook laughs and then calls Smee. Smee, get the plank ready. Yes, sir, says Smee. Now listen to me, says Hook. You must all walk the plank. Walk the plank? asks John. Yes. First you walk the plank, and then you fall into the sea with the crocodile. It will eat you. <laughs> Ah, laughs Hook. But I can save two of you. I want two young pirates. Who wants to be a pirate? The lost boys look at John. John looks at Michael and says, "The life of a pirate is exciting. I don't want to walk the plank. I don't want to be food for the crocodile. Let's be pirates." 
Michael looks at his brother. Then they look at Wendy. She doesn't like their idea. <laughs> Captain Hook laughs and moves his hook in front of their faces. Do you want to be pirates? Yes or no? He asks. John and Michael say, Never. Captain Hook is angry and says, Then you must walk the plank and die. Wendy is afraid. She loves her brothers and the lost boys. She has tears in her eyes. The boys stand near the plank, and Wendy watches them. A pirate asks, Who is the first to walk the plank? At that moment, there is a loud noise. Tick tock, tick tock. Captain Hook's face is white. He says, The crocodile is here. He wants me. He runs to his cabin and hides there. Who is the first to walk the plank? asks a pirate. Come on, let's go. The crocodile is hungry. Suddenly, Peter Pan appears on the pirate ship. Tinkerbell follows him. Wendy and the boys cheer. Hooray! They are very happy to see their young hero. Hook and his pirates are furious. Hook takes his sword and says, I want to fight you, Pan. Tonight you will die. Hook fights with his long sword and with his hook. Peter fights courageously. He pushes Hook to the back of the ship. It is a terrible fight. John, Michael, and the Lost Boys fight the pirates. After a long fight, they throw the pirates into the sea. Peter and Hook move all around the big ship. Their swords make a loud noise. Suddenly, Peter takes Hook's sword and pushes him into the sea. Hook shouts, Oh no! He falls into the sea and into the mouth of the hungry crocodile. Oh, Peter, we are proud of you, says Wendy. She kisses him on the cheek. The boys cheer. Hooray! Hooray! Peter smiles and says, The Jolly Roger is ours now. Let's go home. Chapter 7 Home at Last at the Darling home, Mr. and Mrs. Darling and Nana are desolate. They always think about Wendy, John and Michael. They look at the three empty beds and tears come to their eyes. Mr. and Mrs. Darling never smile or laugh any more. Mrs. Darling sits in the silent nursery and cries. She thinks of her children, their games, and their happy voices. Nana tries to comfort her, but nothing can make Mrs. Darling happy. One night, after several months, something incredible happens. Wendy, John, and Michael fly into the nursery. Mrs. Darling is sitting near the fireplace. Mother, mother, we're home, says Wendy. Mrs. Darling turns around and sees her three dear children. Is this true, or is it a dream? I can't believe it, she says. Oh, mother, we are home at last, the children say. Wendy, John and Michael embrace their mother and kiss her. How wonderful to see you, my dear children. How wonderful to hear your sweet voices. Oh, let me look at you. She calls Mr. Darling. Mr. Darling is very happy and surprised. There is great joy in the Darling nursery tonight. Mother, says Wendy, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys are here too. They are waiting outside. The six lost boys slowly enter the nursery. They look at Mrs. Darling and smile at her. Mother, these are the lost boys. They haven't got a mother. Can they stay with us? Says Wendy. What dear little boys, says Mrs. Darling. Of course they can stay with us. And where is Peter Pan? 
Peter enters the nursery and says, I am here, but I don't want to stay here. I don't want to go to school, and I don't want to grow up. I want to be a young boy forever. I must return to Neverland. I am happy with the Indians and the fairies. Wendy is surprised and says, But Peter, when will I see you again? Mrs Darling says, I have an idea, Wendy. You can visit Peter in Neverland every spring. You can stay there for a week. Can I really go to Neverland every spring, Mother? asks Wendy. Peter looks at Mrs Darling and asks, Is that a promise? Of course it is, says Mrs Darling. Then I want spring to come quickly, says Peter. Yes, very quickly, says Wendy. Come on, Tink, let's fly home and wait for spring, says Peter. Peter Pan and Tinkerbell fly out of the nursery window into the night sky. Their destination? Neverland. <laughs>